Today we are going to look at the leading cause of erectile dysfunction. A cause that has gone largely ignored and underappreciated within the public eye. We are also going to look at the science of how to reverse that cause. It's really hard to present what could be a real cure for people because of all these weird ads of instant cures and pumps and pills that make you temporarily colorblind, but I assure you that the cure is out there. It is an epidemic that affects 30 million men in the United States. One in four new instances of erectile dysfunction, ED, affects males under the age of 40. By the age of 40, your likelihood of developing erectile dysfunction increases gradually until you reach 70, at which time you have a 70% chance of having erectile dysfunction. They say the penis is the window to a man's heart, but it's also true that a penis softness can reveal a man's state of heart disease. Actually, it functions more as a foretelling of their future heart illness. Erectile dysfunction was a problem for two-thirds of the men in the years before their cardiovascular illness was discovered. Erectile dysfunction is sometimes referred to as the canary in the heart disease mine. It is the first indication. For instance, having erectile dysfunction in your 40s increases your risk of developing heart disease by an astounding 5,000%, including a fatal heart attack, in the 10 years following your ED diagnosis. This is why it is such a good indicator of cardiovascular disease. It is the first sign of cardiovascular disease. According to this study published in the British Journal of Diabetes and Vascular Disease, just as most cases of heart disease are brought on by a blocked or impaired heart artery, most cases of erectile dysfunction are brought on by a blocked or impaired penile artery. Amazingly, vascular disease was likely the most frequent cause of erectile dysfunction, and of all vascular diseases, the communist is thorosclerosis or artery disease. For instance, the pinna artery is half the diameter of a coronary heart artery, so a thin layer of fatty deposits on the inside of your heart artery might only decrease flow by about 20% while that same thin layer on your penile artery could mean 50% less blood flow. The penile artery dilates during an erection to allow a surge of blood, but atherosclerosis, or artery hardening, prevents this from happening properly, which is why Viagra works. Over 500 heart disease deaths were linked to Viagra in its first year on the market alone, despite studies by Pfizer not seeming to find any problems. This is because Viagra is a vasodilator that causes your arteries to dilate, which logically can cause havoc on someone with impaired damaged arteries. You might be thinking that none of this really matters to me because I probably don't have clogged arteries, but if you live in the USA, fatty streaks are found in the aortas of nearly all children by the age of 3 years old. The aorta is, of course, your largest artery, and these fatty streaks frequently develop into fibrous plaques in one's 20s, which can undoubtedly cause problems with erections. An oil-free vegan diet has been demonstrated to improve arterial function and clear arteries, reversing cardiovascular disease. This is true not only in epidemiological studies but also in intervention area dietary trials. In one of the earliest studies to show this, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn in the 1990s put 22 people with advanced cardiovascular disease on a whole food vegan diet. None of the 17 patients who stuck with the diet experienced negative effects like a heart attack or stroke. Despite the same 17 people having 49 such events in the 8 years before the study, 70% saw a measurable reversal of their artery clogging. Here is a statement from one of the male patients. When you're young, when you're a teenager, you see a female, and the first reaction is that physically the flag is raised. This happened to all in the study. Dr. Esselstyn did a similar study with 198 people, and they had similar results. Erectile dysfunction isn't a natural part of aging for men. Even though oil can still clog your arteries despite being less harmful than butter. Colin Campbell, a whole food plant-based doctor, was on Bill Maher and was making a joke about blood flow to the penis, but when people have a bad diet, that's when they need the Viagra, right doc? Well, it doesn't have to be that way. In fact, if we were eating right, we wouldn't need the statin, Viagra, and stuff like that. To make my point, the main obstacle between you and your manliness might be your desire to be manly grilling all that meat, and chowing down all those barbecue chicken wings, and so on. To demonstrate how desperate people are to overcome erectile dysfunction, one only needs to look at rhino horns. In the illegal rhino poaching world, countless rhinos are killed every year so that people can grind up the rhino horn in the belief that it cures erectile dysfunction despite the lack of scientific evidence on the subject. Many rhino species are threatened or endangered as a result of this demand, which has driven rhino horn to $30,000 a pound. It's not as simple as taking a pill, but adopting an oil-free vegan diet is the most effective way to treat the underlying causes of erectile dysfunction. That's all for today. I appreciate you watching. 
please feel free to like and subscribe. Stay healthy.